to recreate our life. Sometimes we need it. Okay, alors je vais parler de comment on peut recréer notre vie uh, de temps en temps dans nos besoins. So I took that picture in a, in a, on a mountain. You know, <coughs> was, cette, cette photo sur une montagne. And those are Roman inscriptions. Ça, des, uh, des, des inscriptions romaines. And so they had fun, you know, carving that stone. <laughs> Alors, ils ont eu du plaisir à sculpter dans cette uh, I, I, actu I actually walked a lot to get to this place. <laughs> J'ai beaucoup aimé monter cette montagne. And, and, uh, and there was a, a, a lake with blue water. Mm. The, the water was tur turquoise. Il ah, y avait un lac avec un eau fantastique turquoise. Uh, amazing, amazing place. So, so in, fantastique. And, and I was there and I looked to, the, to, the, to that carving, you know, more than 2,000 years old. Alors j'étais là dans cette grotte de grotte carving. Yeah, c'est le carving, c'est dans le rocher. Dans le rocher, c'est ça que de sculpture, c'est ça, c'est ça. Sculpture. And uh, and uh, I took that picture. Alors j'ai pris cette photo. <laughs> uh, like it was a mirror. C'était comme un miroir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my nose is bigger. Mon nez est plus gros. But but the guy had a bigger face. <laughs> And you know, sometimes when we look ourselves in the mirror, we realize that we're different from what we think. So when I was 18 years old, I would look to myself in the mirror, and I was nicer than what I imagined. <laughs> now it's the opposite. <laughs> Now I look at what happened to my hair. <laughs> and I, I'm growing here. <laughs> and, and, and so sometimes the image we have of ourselves, it's not exactly uh, the way we look like. Now physically we try to uh, improve. Physiquement, on essaie de s'améliorer. That's why we, we go, uh, I was uh, walking through the airport. Je, je, je marchais uh, à l'aéroport. And they have those duty-free areas. Et on a les, 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 les aires de duty-free. And it doesn't matter if you're in, in Lisbon or in London, they're huge. Peu importe si t'es à Lisbon ou à Londres, c'est vraiment and gros. Pe and people buy perfumes, lots of perfumes. Les gens achètent du parfum, beaucoup de parfums. And they buy a lot of creams, you know, to take off the wrinkles. <laughs> and all that stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and so then I arrived, I, I went shopping at Costco. <coughs> I, I love Costco. <laughs> and they have this machine there for sale. It costs a thousand three hundred something, thirteen hundred dollars. And you just go go into the, the machine. You hold two bars. And it starts to shake. And they say you lose weight in ten minutes. <laughs> I like that idea. You don't need to do exercise. You just hold the machine and, and it shakes the you know the fat. Well, it costs a lot of money, so it must be true, right? <laughs> so people try to change the way they, they look. You know, I, I also had time to go shopping, a little, a little, do a little shopping there. And, uh, and I decided to, to dress a little bit younger, in a, in a younger fashion. <laughs> I decided this long time ago. <laughs> and uh, and some people think, you know, when you buy an expensive suit, you know, in the tie, you know, that you well dressed. And then I found out that uh, you know that. Uh, Uh, jeans are more expensive than the suits. <laughs> so, but, but we can decide you know, to dress in a certain way. So we make a lot of decisions in order to change our image. You, you ladies, you, you choose a different haircut. Or, or, or a different color. Uh, guys do that too, but uh, it's more the way. So, so sometimes, uh, and then we, uh, at a certain age, we get used to things. 
certain âge, on devient habitué à certaines choses. So people at, at a certain age, they don't care anymore about fashion or things. Or Et les gens à un certain âge ne s'en font plus avec la mode et puis euh, comment ils sont habillés. Why am I talking about this? Pourquoi je parle de ça aujourd'hui? Because we all have an image. Parce qu'on a tous une image. And sometimes uh, we don't take care of our personal image. We all also have a reputation. On a aussi une réputation. And sometimes people will stain our reputation. You see, when Jesus was preaching the gospel, Quand Jésus la, 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 la parole de Dieu, his reputation was, was bad sa réputation était pas bonne. Uh, among the religious people. La, 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 pas bonne, uh, But it was a great reputation among sinners. Mais une très bonne parmi les so, so uh, you see, uh, it, it all depends in what realm you walk. You have a, a different image. So God placed us in this world. Alors, tu nous as dans ce monde. And, and we are in this world to achieve certain things. Alors, nous dans ce monde pour, uh, So we're not here just to breathe, eat, live, and then die. I, I know that's the mentality of a lot of people, but we, there, there's, there's a reason why we're here. But, but, but certain times we, we hit kind of roadblocks in our walk. Or we fall into holes. And when we fall into holes, when we're in a difficult situation, sometimes it's very hard to get out of that place. As Christians, we know we need to look up, like in this hole. But, but we feel hopeless sometimes. What, what shall I do? You know? and, and we're limited for, with all sorts of things. And, and, and we can lose purpose. Well, God wants to bring us out of those holes. And, uh, and, and in order to come out of a hole in our life, we need to take action. So, uh, Christians are people of action. Can I hear something? Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> so, you agree with me? Whenever we have status quo, uh, there's no progr progress. And, uh, and, uh, and, and it's like a spiritual hole. So, people sometimes are Christian. But they think they know it all. You know, whenever a Bible verse is read, oh, I already listened to that message. And they go to church, they know exactly what's going to happen next. And so church becomes really boring. And, and certain times in our life, we feel like we're not growing. So when, when we're in that place, we need to do something. We, we cannot accommodate to the hole. We need to get out of there. And the first thing I want to tell you today is that in, in, when we are in Christ, all things can become new. Now, there's a passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 that I read. We're not going to read the whole passage, but if you can read it at home, that, that will be our homework. And, and Paul is giving some teaching to this uh, group of Christians in, in the city of Corinth. Now, I don't know how many of you were labeled as crazy because you walk with Christ. <laughs> you're crazy, you go there, you're crazy, you know. You know, that's for old people. <laughs> you know, church, it, it's not for our day, it's for, you know, centuries before. You've been brainwashed. Come on, you, you, you heard these things. So that's nothing new. That's nothing new. 2,000 years ago, Paul, uh, Paul was saying, or if we are beside ourselves, 
It is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. Alors Paul disait ça justement comme un signe que si on est euh, hors, de. hors de nous-mêmes, c'est pour Dieu. Si euh, on est hors de notre euh, parcours, c'est c'est pour vous. Yeah. Uh, Est-ce que tu peux chercher le, le verset biblique comme pas le Oui, c'est une traduction rapide. Est-ce que tu peux lire en français? Je peux lire en français, c'est 13. Oui, oui. Et ferme pas la page car on va lire un euh, autre. En effet, si je suis hors de sens, c'est pour Dieu. Si je suis de bon sens, c'est pour vous. Hors de sens. Oui, non, c'est ça. So, so if I'm out of myself, or if I'm acting like a fool, Let's si like this. Fou, si je... It is for God. C'est pour Dieu. Now, if I behave normally, si j'agis normalement, it's for you. C'est pour vous. So, you want to do things for God? Vous voulez faire des choses pour Dieu? Guess what? Mais je dis quoi? You're going to do foolish things. Vous allez faire des choses pour Dieu. Out of the ordinary. And people will label you as a fool, lunatic, all sorts of things. Those are the things we do for God. Now, if we only do for God, we'll be foolish. So, so sometimes we need to set our feet on the ground and act in our right mind. Now, As a group of people here at Passion Canada, we want to do things for God and we want to do things for others. So, so we need to have a balance. Okay? And so we have a, a pastor here, that's me, and other pastors uh, in order to uh, set the tone of, uh, of, of what Passion Canada is. Ils sont là pour euh, montrer exactement pourquoi Passion est ici. Because God will bring people in leadership to lead the people. Parce que Dieu va amener des gens en leadership pour euh, diriger les gens. So don't worry if some people come here and then they start coming. Ne soyez pas euh, surpris si des gens qui viennent ici puis qui arrêtent de venir ici. Because uh, this is not meant to be uh, a gathering of religious people. Parce qu'ici c'est le, le Passion Canada c'est pas un groupe pour regrouper des gens religieux. Okay, so, so the doctrine belongs to the pastors. Alors, la and, the, au pasteur. and then we discuss things and we talk about things. Et puis une de choses, on parle de But we need to understand this, this uh, it, it's a dual thing. We do foolish things for God, we do things in the right mind for others. And now if a person does foolish things for others, si quelqu'un qui fait des choses folles pour d'autres, it's not what Paul is saying. C'est pas ce que Paul dit. Okay. On fait des choses folles pour Dieu, mais on fait des choses. Uh, All right. So, so let's try to understand this. Now, uh, he was talking about uh, insane things, about crazy things. Alors il parlait de choses folles. But then he gets to, to what I, I think is the, the most important scripture of this passage, which is verse 17. Après ça, il bon, au verset 17. And he said, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the old has passed away, behold, the new has come. C'est ça, on n'a pas besoin de... C'est bien? C'est bien traduit. So, that's the conclusion. Says, that's why he says, therefore, so, so to summarize things, If someone is in Christ, now how many of you are in Christ? Okay, I'm seeing everybody. Okay, so when you are in Christ, the old has passed away. And now we have the new things. Now, what kills Christians and what kills churches? It's when people live in the past. And Oh, 20 years ago was great, you know, oh, the revival. Oh, and uh, when, uh, you know, when that pastor, you know, 15 years ago was here, oh, that was awesome. Nothing wrong in doing these, co co these comments. However, when, you, when your life is in Christ, 
Mais quand on, on, la vie est en Jésus-Christ, and you're, you try to live in the past, et tu essaies de vivre dans le passé, something's wrong. Il y a quelque chose qui fonctionne pas. So you need to reinvent yourself. Alors il faut, à ce moment-là, tu as besoin de te réinventer. Because living with God, it's a constant change. Parce que vivre avec Dieu, c'est un changement constant. Now, let's elaborate this a little bit more. Alors, élaborons cette idée-là un petit peu plus. Theologians are uh, uh, people that study scripture. Alors, les théologiens, c'est des théologiens, c'est ceux qui étudient la, la parole de They say, this verse talks about uh, salvation. Bon, ils vont dire que ce verset-là parle de, le, du salut. So, so when you're saved, Alors, quand tu es sauvé, your past is forgiven, ton passé est pardonné, and now everything becomes new. Et toute chose devient nouvelle. Okay, th that's right. That's correct. C'est correct. However, Par contre, it's not uh, this. This verse was not taught by Paul in the context of new birth. This is talking about Christian life. Ce, ce parle de la vie and, and so, and so, sometimes we can think, oh, this is just for you know being born again. But I, I'm here to tell that this verse is for you today, for now. Mais ce vers, je, je suis ici pour vous dire que ce verset-là est pour vous aujourd'hui. Parce que si vous êtes en Christ, you are now. You vous are, êtes maintenant. You are, it's now. C est, c est, vous êtes maintenant. maintenant. Otherwise, it will say if you were in Christ. Sinon, ça dirait si vous étiez en Christ. You are in Christ. You, vous êtes en Christ. So, let's elaborate this. Let's, Alors, think, about, let, let's think about God. Pensons à Dieu. Now, Uh, God is the creator. Dieu le créateur. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yes. Avec ça? So some people think he created things. And now he is like uh, observing what happened. Maintenant qu'il a créé, il nous observe tout simplement. No, no he, he, he still is the creator. Il est encore le créateur. Okay? D'accord. All right. Uh, I was reading uh, yesterday that uh, Edison. Je, lis, je lisais hier que Addison, the one that invented the light bulb and some other things. C'est lui qui a inventé le Thomas Edison. La light bulb. Le, 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 la, le, ok, c'est lui qui a inventé la la lumière. Ou la lumière électrique. Okay, so he he wrote 25,000 notebooks. Il a écrit 25 or 35, 35,000 notebooks. 35, il a écrit 35,000 euh, notebooks. Euh, so block the notes. Block notes. With ideas. Avec des idées. That's a lot of ideas. Ça c'est beaucoup d'idées. 35,000 block notes. So, so there's a few inventions that we know. Alors il y a plusieurs inventions. You know, electric bulb, uh, recording of sound, sound recorder. Le, you know, la, la, la capacité d'enregistrer le son, le gramophone. <laughs> uh, what else? It's, 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 it's yeah, so know. many things. Yeah, you know, uh, other people like uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. He invented so many things. <laughs> he was a painter. And he was an inventor. So he was constantly creating things. You know, when you create things, it doesn't stop. It's, it's not a matter you create when you're 15 and when you're 20 you stop creating. So God keeps creating things. How many of you heard that the universe is expanding? That's the observation of science. Science agrees the universe is expanding. La science observe que l'univers s'agrandit. Why? Pourquoi? Because God keeps creating. Pourquoi? Parce que Dieu continue de créer. Or do you think He created planet Earth and that's it? Pensez-vous qu'il crée seulement la planète Terre puis ça s'arrête là? He continues to create things. Alors il continue de créer des choses. He is the creator. C'est le créateur. Why is this so important? Pourquoi est-ce si important? Because creation. Parce que la création. Uh, it is to, to bring something new into existence. La création, c'est d'apporter quelque chose de nouveau euh, à l'existence. All right. So, so we need to understand this as Christians. Il faut qu'on comprenne ça comme Christians. And, and as we are, for instance, here, we are creating a new movement, a new Alors, church. Là, nous qui sommes ici, nous créons un, nou un nouveau mouvement, une nouvelle église. So it's a creative process. C'est 
un processus de création. So, you know, if I, if I start drawing something here, si je commence à écrire quelque chose ici, and, and uh, this is one of my characters, c'est mes caractères que j'écris. Uh, what's going to come out of here? Qu'est-ce qui va venir de ce que je fais? Uh, start something else. Et je vais essayer autre chose. <laughs> Because I'm in charge of the creative process. Parce que moi, je suis en charge du, euh, du processus de création. Now, when we do a church, Alors, quand nous fons, faisons une église, we build a team of people. On, on construit un, un groupe, une équipe And de then personnes. little by little, things start to shape. Et tranquillement, les choses commencent à prendre forme. The thing is, we don't know the full picture. Mm. God knows. Amen. <laughs> nous, on ne connaît pas le, le portrait général, mais Dieu God sait. God tells us, okay, draw the feet. Dieu va dire, ok, dessine les pieds. So that's the creative process. That's how God creates, creates things. Now, in Christ, we have a new nature. So what's a new nature? I heard about this story about the scorpion. And, and uh, someone was teaching the scorpion not to bite. Or not to sting. And so the scorpion, after uh, a, a, a big period of length of learning, wasn't stinging. And, and so the, the man that was teaching the scorpion was very happy. Very proud. And the scorpion will walk in his hands and will never sting. Alors le, le, le scorpion marchait sur ses mains et il ne mordait jamais. And he trusted that that scorpion will never sting. Alors il a, il a, il a eu confiance que ce scorpion-là ne mordrait plus jamais. Until one day the scorpion was upset. Oh. Ah, un jour le scorpion était fâché. And sting the man and killed him. Et, et il a, il a, il a, il a mordu l'homme et il l'a tué. Why? Pourquoi? That's his nature. Parce que c'est sa nature. <laughs> You know, uh, uh, Ezekiel asked, "Can you change the the, 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 the leopard's uh, oh, spots?" Ezekiel dit, "Est-ce que vous pouvez changer les 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 Well, why, why is he asking this? Because you have a nature. Now we have a nature. Nous avons une nature. And in Christ we have a new nature. Et en Jésus, nous avons une nouvelle nature. But guess what? The old nature is still there. Mm. So there is a struggle between the old nature and the new nature. So the closest you get to God, Alors, le plus vous de Dieu, the more you have the new nature. Le plus vous avez la nouvelle nature. And the new nature is creative. Et la nouvelle nature, elle, elle, elle crée. You know, certain Christians, they lost their creativity because they, they're not aware, but they're living in the old nature. So thinking about God, is he the creator? Tell me. Okay. Is, 
Is he the creator? Did he stop creating things? Can we agree on that? Okay. He was, he is, and he will always be the creator. He doesn't stop creating. So God is constantly doing something new, but we don't know it. You know, certain Christians say, oh, God is moving. Wow. <laughs> Nothing extraordinary in that. Okay, and his nature is always present. So, so his creative process is always in motion. You see, when Jesus told the disciples, I'm going to heaven, he said, I'm going to create a mansion for you, a place for you. And the reason why we're still here, because your place is not ready in heaven. <laughs> as soon as, as, it, uh, as, as the place is ready, you're going there. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> okay, there's a place for you in heaven. It's not yet created. It's not yet created. But it's being created. For all of us. That's amazing, eh? <laughs> I don't know if you ever thought about this. So when we receive Christ, a Christian it's a person that is like Christ. So you cannot call yourself a Christian if you're not like Christ. So every day we should be more Christ-like. Okay, not like the pastor. Not like the evangelist you watch on TV. But like Christ. Okay, so we need to be creative. Walking with Christ was unbelievable. They never knew what he was going to do next. Never. They were never bored in Christ. It was always a surprise. It's like when we come to church, it should, it should be also surprising. <laughs> All right. We're getting to some. Now, let me talk about conformity and renewal. Exactly. So, we can be like everybody else. Red. Or we can blue. Can be blue among the red. So we're a little bit different. Now, when you're in a group of people, and, and for instance, a church, we try to, to have a norm. We, we try to conform to a, a group of things. So, so, so when we go to a church, we say, oh, here in church we do like this. And uh, we should uh, dress like this. And we take communion. And in our church we do like this. Uh, over here we don't like loud music. We don't like uh, pastors with earrings. Uh, we don't like loud music. I told that already. Uh, you know, in order to, to take communion, you need to be baptized. And that's what people do. It's not God's norm. That's what we do. And when people create this conformity, it happens that the church has no impact in the society. Because there's no creativity. You know, you go there, you know what's going to happen next. Because, you know, everything is programmed. 
choses. Now, we can program things, nothing wrong with that. Mais vous savez, on peut programmer des choses. <coughs> des What about the creative process? On est dans un processus de création. Now, uh, est-ce que tu peux chercher le verset Romain 12? So, so what, what God uh, uh, said through Paul is, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That by testing, you, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. On va lire en français. Ne vous conformez pas au siècle présent, mais soyez transformés par le renouvellement de l'intelligence, afin que vous discerniez quelle est la volonté de Dieu, ce qui est bon, agréable et parfait. So, in order to reinvent ourselves, Alors, dans, dans le but de, de se réinventer, let's do it God's way. Faisons-le de la façon. And God says, don't be conformed or don't acquire the shape of the world. But allow yourself to be transformed so that's to be reinvented in this way. The renewal of your thoughts, of your mind. Think outside the box. Pensez à l'extérieur de la boîte. And dis discern what, it, what, what, what is the will of God. Et discerner ce qui est la, la, la volonté de Dieu. So, so if you don't know what's the will of God. Si vous connaissez pas ce qui est la volonté de Dieu. Come on, how many Christians say, oh, I, don't, I don't know the will of God. Et combien de gens disent, oh, je connais pas la volonté de Dieu. And the pastor, can you pray so that God can tell you what is the will of God for me? Pastor, pouvez-vous prier pour que, que, que Dieu vous montre c'est quoi la volonté de Dieu pour ma vie? Do you have a word for me? Do you have a word? Avez-vous un mot pour moi? Avez-vous un mot pour moi? That's that's good. I mean, it's not bad, but c'est bon, c'est pas mauvais. But what about you yourself being transformed by the renewal of your mind? Et pourquoi pas euh, vous soyez transformé par le renouvellement de votre intelligence. So so when we find the will of God. Quand nous, nous trouvons la Then we find the things that are acceptable and perfect. So the, uh, this verse talks about two patterns of behavior. Patterns, it's more modern. The modern. Model. So the, what is the model or the pattern of the, the world? Un, le, le du monde. And another is the model of the church. Now, not the church as we see the church today, but the church that God intended for us to be. And in these patterns of behavior, Et dans ces modèles de comportement, one, you conform with what, what's happening. You're in the hole, es dans le trou. and you say, oh, I'm in the hole. Et tu vous dites, ah, je suis dans le trou. Maybe it's the will of God that I'm in the hole. Let us pray to see if it's the will of God for me to be in the hole. And God, if it is your will for me to be healed. You see, that's the model of the world. And I'll tell you this, the majority of Christians live in the model of the world. Now, let's talk the model of Christ. Du de Jésus -Christ. Or the church. Ou de That's different. Différent. You're in a hole. Vous êtes dans, dans un trou. And what do you need to do? You need to renew your thoughts. How am I going to get out of this hole? Comment je vais sortir <laughs> de ce trou -là? And you don't stop until you're out of the hole. Et vous ne pas temps que vous soyez sorti du trou. How am I going to go out? Comment je vais How am I going to change things? And, and this implies that you think. That's the renewal of your mind. The difference between us and the world is not the way we dress. It's the way we think. And we need to understand this. The way we think shapes who we are. So today you're opening a fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> in 
the Chinese restaurant. Dans les restaurants chinois. And you open the paper. Et vous ouvrez le, le, le petit papier. And the paper says, time for change. Et le papier, c'est dit, <laughs> c'est le temps de changer. <laughs> There's always good stuff in those papers. Il y a toujours des bonnes choses dans ces petits papiers-là. They even give you the numbers of 649. Ils ne veulent pas. Ils ne veulent pas. Ils ne So here's the fortune cookie. <laughs> And you, you, you read a good thing. And today I'm here to tell you a good thing. I'm your fortune cookie today. <laughs> Time to change. So, so you need to consider the past. Okay. But now it's the future. So you messed up in the past. Okay, the market has passed. So how are you going to <coughs> engage into the future? And and this is what we're starting to learn today. This is what we're learning today. All right. So let's continue a little bit further. What is an invention? What is an invention? What is an invention? An invention is a solution to a problem. That no one has ever thought about. Okay, so we can define, we can give different definitions, but, on peut, on peut but okay. it, it's something that never, no one thought about. Chose que a pensé avant. Have you ever went to, to a, a store where they sell, uh, you know, uh, different gadgets and different things? I don't know the name of the store. Yesterday I went to one of those stores. And, and they had a, a clock with um, Homer Simpson. <laughs> yeah, and he had a, a can of beer. <laughs> and I think it was a hamburger. <laughs> and I think when the, the time is, you know, at the hour, it rolls the eyes and, you know. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I, I, I never watched it. You know, it's a, that's an invention. It's an invention. Well, it's a clock, but it's a different kind of clock. And, and at the end of the store, they, they had a toilet brush that was a, a, a gun, a pistol. Yeah, and I thought, that's a good idea. And, and then they had the drill that was a revolver. And they had a fart machine Uh, you know, just like <laughs> they had all sorts of inventions. <laughs> inventions. Some are useful. Some are for nothing. Have you ever watched the, the infomercials? There's a, there's, a, there's a product I watch on TV. I want to buy that. It, it, it's, uh, it looks like a, a, a hair dryer. But it's a little one. And it's to clean your ears. It's the vacuum clean for, vacuum cleaner for your ears. That's awesome. <laughs> And it's two for ten bucks. I, 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 I you know, what a great invention. I don't know if it works. <laughs> you know, have you ever watched the ShamWow? <laughs> the shticky is awesome. You know, Andrew gave me a shticky. It's <laughs> always an online for me. A shticky, you, you clean the hair from, from your clothes, you, you clean the house. That thing works. Ça fonctionne cette chose-là, c'est pour enlever toutes les poils, ouais, les vêtements. What an invention! Quelle bonne invention! Why didn't I think about this? Pourquoi j'ai pas pensé à ça? Non? I will be rich. Je serai riche aujourd'hui. You know, Christians, chrétiens, uh, and Jewish people, et les gens juifs, they create a lot more of these kind of inventions. Ils ont créé beaucoup plus de ces inventions-là. Than any other 
you know, group. Que, 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 you know this? Que 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 okay. Just think about this. Pensez, pensez à ça. Who invented computers? Qui qui a les the phones that we use. Les que nous Jewish. Jewish and Christian people. Des, des chrétiens, des juifs. These inventions don't come out of, you know, let's say China or India. Ces, ces pas de, de, de they're, la Chine. they're very good at copying les, les Chinois, par exemple, sont, sont très bons à copier what's produced in other countries. countries. Now, the question is, are Jewish people and Christians smarter than other people? Not at all. Pas du tout. But they are more creative. Mais ils sont plus and there's a reason for that. Et une raison pour ça. Because the closer you are to God, Amen. Amen. Plus vous de Dieu, the more inventive you are. Le, le plus, uh, inventif que tu It's not that you're not creative if you're not a Christian or a Jew. But investigate this. Mais, uh, pensez à ça. Most of the great inventions and achievements of our present society la, la plupart des inventions que, qu'on, qu'on a, qu'on, come from people that, that believe in God. Viennent des, des gens qui croient en Dieu. You know, like uh, Einstein, for instance. Einstein, par exemple. He really believed in God. Il, il croyait vraiment en Dieu. You know, but you tell this to certain Christians and they're all upset. Et tu dis ça à certains Oh, he didn't confess Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Tu dis ça à des chrétiens et ils viennent faire, non, non, il n'a pas confessé que Jésus était son Seigneur et Sauveur. But he found God. Mais il a trouvé Dieu. Through science. He found him because I've read a lot of his writings, and he was a man of God. <laughs> and, and you know, today there, there's a guy. They say he's the smartest man on earth. He's in a wheelchair. I'm not even going to say his name. And he, they say he's so smart. His IQ is mind blowing. He's a great thinker. Did he create anything? No. No. You see, he's so smart. He's considered the smartest man on earth. He spends his life denying God. He spends his life denying God. And um, yes. 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 so he never created anything. Okay, so I'm not criticizing the man. Okay. God bless him. But you know that you have other people, simple people like you and me, and suddenly they have an idea. Oops, I have this idea. You know? <laughs> you know? Think about the person that invented the yo-yo. They must be rich, I don't know. <laughs> you know. You know the guy that invented the, the paper cup? <coughs> and, and, the, and the paper um, containers? You know that company Tetra Pak? He, he, he gets a royalty for every single milk carton that is sold. <laughs> Wow! And he had this idea, I'm going to build, you know, a container in paper. Ideas. Solutions to problems. Inventions. So it's, it's, it's not because you're very smart that you, you have these ideas. But suddenly you can think about something nobody else thought about. You know what? Stuff like Facebook. Des choses comme Facebook. It's, it's not new. It's pas nouveau. But there was something new there. Mais il y avait quelque chose de nouveau, là. So it's, it's like an America online modified. C'est comme, euh, <laughs> it, it already existed. Ça existait déjà. But without the names. Avec un, mais un nom, but avec that young man, he invented it. Mais ce jeune garçon-là, wow, l'a inventé. he's wow. rich now. Il est riche maintenant. <laughs> oh, okay, so... so Why am I, you know, just knocking this, you know, nailing this? Because in order to reinvent yourself, you need to be close to God. Last Bible verse, we finish here. 
and, and I'm going to ask him because it's too to share on concept. Uh, so we're going to, to read the last Bible verse and we're going to pray after. All right? It says, the Lord says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Est-ce que tu peux lire? Voici, je vais faire une chose nouvelle sur le point d'arrivée. Ne la connaissez-vous pas? Je mettrai un chemin dans le désert et des fleuves dans la solitude. So, God is doing new things, Dieu fait de nouvelles choses, but we do not perceive them. Mais des fois, on s'en rend pas compte, on ne les voit pas. It, it's, it's like, uh, you know, uh, you cut your hair. C'est comme par exemple, si vous euh, coupez vos cheveux. And nobody notices. And then a week later, your husband says, "There's something different. You cut your hair. You want to see your wife upset? <laughs> It's when you do something, nobody notices. And suddenly she goes to your to your garage or office." And she says, wow, this is different. And he says, I did it a month ago. You didn't notice. We all get frustrated when we do stuff and other people will not notice. God is constantly doing new things. And we don't notice. <laughs> Okay? And God is doing a new thing now. Because that's his nature. So how are we going to notice this? We need to be aware of his presence. And let me tell you this. If you feel like you are in the desert, you're in the right place. If you're in the wilderness, you're in the right place. Because in the desert, you will notice if there's a new way. If there's a wilderness and there's now a river, you will notice. There's something new here. So, so God will lead us to the desert to open our eyes so we will see what, what he's doing. And when that happens, we need to jump into that water. We need, we need to walk that way. We need to follow that new way. John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness. He was coming from the desert places. And people will come to listen. And he was insulting them. <laughs> people went there to be insulted. But they knew this is from God. And guess what he had in the desert? A river. A river. And he baptized them. <laughs> And after he baptized them, They found Christ. And they followed him all the way. In fact, the church was known in the beginning by those of the way. So they were not known as Christians. It's the group of people that talk about the way. Jesus is the way. Amen. They were in the way. Mm -hmm. They were in the journey. So if you feel like, like you're dry, welcome to, to change. You, know, you will observe it. <laughs> you will observe it. So, so, so this is the, 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 the most important thing of this message. And next week, I'm going to be a little bit shorter next week. And we're going to talk about an extreme makeover. Church, church edition. 
Church Edition. Edition. Edition Église. Edition Église. Transformation extrême. Okay. So, so, <laughs> all right. So, so, God is doing something new. Dieu fait quelque chose de nouveau. And we need to reinvent ourselves. Il 